Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot a laptop that won't come on for one reason or the other. Now, I come across these situations quite a bit, so I decided to start recording my troubleshooting processes and sharing with you guys here on this channel. Of course, there are several possible reasons why your laptop might not turn on, some major and some minor. So certainly some repairs are easier than others. What I'll be sharing with you in this video and in subsequent videos in this category are some repairing tips and approach to troubleshooting these kind of issues in case you're having one yourself. And if at the time of watching this video, I have made a follow-up videos, then you can also check them out to see if any of them matches the situation of your laptop in case this one doesn't. There are situations where you press your power button, no lights come on, no sound to show that the hard drive is spinning, no sound from the cooling fan, so basically nothing happens. But there are other situations like the case of this Dell laptop where you press the power button and the LEDs come on, the fan and the hard drive seem to be spinning, but nothing happens on the screen. No backlights, no texts. So there is no single fix for all situations. I'll be troubleshooting each case based on the characteristics or symptoms of the problem. And now without further ado, let's see what could be the issue in this situation. Okay, so for the case of this laptop, what happens is when I press the power button, it shows up the LED on the power button and these other LEDs, as you can see, they blink for a bit and then they go off, but the LED on the power button remains and then nothing shows up on the screen whatsoever. There is no light, there is no backlight and there is no text. Basically, there is no sign of life on the display. So right now, all we have is this LED on the power uh, button. And of course, this LED showed up before going off completely. Now, there are times when you press your power button and nothing shows up completely. No, and also, when you listen carefully, you might not get that from the video, but when I listen, I can get some sounds. I hear some sounds of um, spinning hard drive and the cooling fan as well. So there's definitely life on this computer, but no life on the screen. Nothing is happening on the display. So usually, if you have the kind of scenario where there's absolutely no power or no life at all on the computer, then the first thing you want to start checking is your power sources. I'm going to turn this off. Is your power sources. And usually the laptops, I mean, even when there is nothing on, like in this case, the laptops have some kind of LED indicating the, the presence of power. Uh, usually it could, I mean, sometimes it could be close to the power adapter port where you connect your power adapter to your laptop. But there are also times, like in the case of this laptop, where it's placed right in front of this um, panel here. So you might want to search around and see where yours is placed. But if you absolutely have no LED indicator around your computer, I've seen that as well then you might want to use a multimeter to test your power adapter now for the case of this laptop it's kind of an additional advantage as you can see it has an led around this um this plug here so this definitely confirmed um, presence of power here so we don't have to worry about that but not all chargers not all power adapters have this led so if your adapter doesn't have any indicator around it then you want to use a multimeter to test that there is um, power getting across from here and then you might want to check just in case, I mean, to check the pin and be sure that the pin is intact. And also check that the connector here is not displaced in any way. So for the case of this laptop, obviously it's not the case of power, but just in case you have that in your, uh, for your issue. Okay, now the next thing we want to check is that the BIOS has not been triggered off either by a power surge from the battery or from the power adapter. Now, normally when you press your power button, the first thing that comes on is your BIOS. Your BIOS coordinates with your other system components to bring um, your computer, your operating system to life. Now, in this case, when we press our power button, nothing shows up on the screen whatsoever. Usually, you're going to see the logo. Like in this case, you're going to see the Dell logo and maybe some background text or what have you. Now, that is your BIOS booting and coordinating with your other system components to bring your computer to life. Now, in this case, we haven't seen that. So, there are chances that the BIOS in a bit to protect itself has stripped off. When it experiences certain kind of surge from either the battery or the power adapter, it could trigger certain elements of the BIOS to trim it off. And then you see this kind of situations where you press your power button and nothing happens. So your BIOS doesn't even come on in this case. Now, we're going to try to fix that. A simple way to do that is to first to remove all the power sources from your computer. So we're going to remove the power adapter. And then we're going to remove the battery. Now we're going to press and hold. We're going to press and hold 
the power button for about 20 to 30 seconds and what I'm doing here basically is to discharge all residual um, power, residual current or voltage from the capacitors, from the transistors and from any other components including the BIOS. So we are resetting the BIOS basically so that whatever might have triggered it off will be cleared. Now after 30 seconds or so, I'm going to return the power sources. So I'm going to put back the battery and then also return the adapter because I'm not sure how much power is in the battery. I'm not sure how good the battery is. So I'm going to keep using the adapter and the battery at the same time. Now I'm going to try to turn this on once again and see if it helps. Okay. Again, the LEDs come on. This one's um, they show up once and go up, but the LED for the um, power button remains. And I still get some sounds from the cooling fan and from the hard drive. So there is life in the laptop, but still nothing on the screen. So this is not the case of the BIOS. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to be checking here is the display. Now, obviously, when you experience this kind of problem, it's natural to think that your screen has gone bad, but from experience, that is not always the case. However, having tested this, um, the BIOS and also having confirmed that this is not the case of power failure, the next thing we're going to be checking is the screen. But this time around, we're not going to be removing the screen or anything like that. Of course, it's possible that the backlight, the LED or the backlight in the case of this, um, this um, laptop, might have gone bad or if you're using the LED type maybe the adapter has gone bad but in any case we're going to be testing this by connecting our display through the serial port to an external display now if you don't have an external display you can use your your television or some other display you find but in this case I'm going to be using this display here so I'm going to connect this the Dell laptop And then try to turn it on and see if that works. Again, the LED is blink. It's power. There is um, the the power button still has the LED turned on. And then no signal. Basically, this is likely not the case of the screen being bad or the LED is being broken because this was a functional laptop according to the user so it's um, it should show some text or some kind of at least some initial screen on this um, display if everything was fine for the display so more than likely this is not the case of a bad display or broken LEDs or something like that so the next thing we'll be checking is the RAM now Usually some laptops would give some clue on this, but not at all times. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now this is okay. This is a this is a strong indicator. This is a strong indicator. I've been expecting this, but I'm surprised it's coming this time. And this beep is coming from your BIOS. Now there are different tones for this beep that could indicate different faults, but usually it's either your monitor has a problem or your RAM has a problem. Those are the two common reasons why you are going to hear this beep. For the case of the RAM, if there is absolutely, if there is completely no RAM in any of the slots, then you are going to get this beep indicating that there is no RAM. But that will come immediately when you power on the PC. But not all laptops do that anyways. But now in this case, the beep is coming repeatedly. I'm not exactly sure what this beep there are different tones and different meanings but i don't remember exactly what it's about but if this is not about the screen then it's definitely about the ram so now we're going to check the ram to see if it's intact and if it's responsible for this problem i'll turn it off and then we're going back to the table 
to check on the run. Okay, this is um, a bit of a daring process if you're not used to opening your computer but usually the RAM is located in places that are easily accessible normally if if you have different compartments underneath your laptop there will be some kind of um, indication of your RAM in the case of this laptop we just have one huge um, compartment so there are no indications if there are multiple compartments then you're going to read off and see which one has your um, your RAM in it now for this case I'm going to open up and try to locate the RAM. Okay, is this clear enough? So as you can see here, I have two RAM slots. Now I'm going to try to test. I mean, this could be the case of the RAM itself being bad. It could also be the case of this connector where you put your RAM being bad. But then we're going to first start by testing out the RAMs. So usually you would have two RAM slots. You might have one in your case, so you could just um, basically get some other RAM and replace and see if it works. But for this case, I'm going to try the two RAMs one after the other. Okay, I'm going to leave the one inside and then try to power on and see if it works. Again, the LEDs here show up one time and disappear, but the LED on the power button remains. No sign of life on the display. And now I'm not hearing the beep again, or maybe the beep comes a bit later. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and test the second RAM and see if it works. So we'll remove this one. Okay, okay, now, yes, it has an operating system, and now it's booting up, I don't know if you can see that, as you can see, the laptop has Windows 10 installed on it, and now it's booting up. Okay. Okay. Now I'm I'm going to turn this off. Let's exhaust the possibilities because right now we can't be too sure if the problem is the RAM slot or the RAM itself. It has to be the RAM itself because we pulled out the other RAM from the slot. It could also be that the two RAMs do not coordinate well, but that would rarely be the case because the both, both RAMs use 1.5 volts to power on. But I'm still going to I'm still going to connect this other RAM to another port. I'll put it in the outer port this time and try again and see 
if it works. Okay. Okay. So again, we have power on the LED here and this other LED showed up again as usual but no life on the screen. So now we can come to a conclusion that this, oh not this, sorry, <laughs> this Hinex RAM is bad and we have the Samsung one which works fine. So in this case, of course the computer can power up and can run fairly fine with 2 gig RAM but for Windows 10 and this is an i3 processor I think it's advisable to to upgrade it back to a 4 gigabyte so so I'll definitely advise the user to purchase a 2 gigabyte and then replace this broken one for the computer to start working fine again so here we go So you can see in this situation it wasn't the case of broken screen and it wasn't the case of a failing uh, backlight. This is obviously the case of a failing memory. Okay guys, that is it for today's troubleshooting. If you have any questions or comments regarding the procedures in this video or if your laptop shows other signs different from the one in this video, you can post in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, share with anyone you think might want to see. And like I mentioned earlier, I'll be making more troubleshooting videos like this one for different cases of laptops not coming on, together with other tech support videos as well. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.